the public participation uh, that took place in Nalga Tamil was not expected by very many corners but then uh, the people uh, what we feel is that it was they are in the hearts and minds of the people because people were observing what is going on through these days uh, and they were prepared to come out and they were almost expecting a chance because we have seen people talking in their homes in streets in the offices criticizing the whole process but there was not a chance offered for them to come out like this and express their true feelings uh, and then their opinion so it became a chance for the people so they were almost almost boiling inside and it was like a safety valve in which people came out uh, in big numbers and expressed uh, what they really feel about the current political process uh, the role of the uh, government, the role of the uh, Tamil parliamentarians and also about the role of the international community. So they were strong enough uh, to come out and say like this publicly. We are not sure whether uh, the international community is going to listen to what the people express through this rally. But then, uh, so far, uh, not only Prime uh, our Chief Minister, but even we civil activists also, whenever the representative of the international community meet us, we used to tell them the real problem situations, the opinion of the people. But uh, uh, they also considered par parliamentarians, the elected members, as the official representatives of the people. So in such a situation, uh, they were saying that official representatives of the people were, were saying this and you are saying this. So we see a conflict in this and so they were uh, trying to tell us that it is not the opinion of the uh, people but is it is the opinion of the few extremists who live in the north. So, uh, so uh, they consider this kind of opinion as the opinion of the few people but this time it has come out very clearly that it is not the opinion of the few people who are living in the north, north and east but it is the general opinion of the public and uh, they were they wanted to come out with it so uh, in a way this has given a stronger message to the international community but really the people feel but otherwise they were listening to the uh, representatives elected representatives and then they were saying uh, people are not having this kind of strong opinions but then people about their collective rights people are very strong so they want uh, a federal system and they are not ready to uh, accept any solution that comes under unitary system and they want North and East to be merged and the solution to be brought to the Tamil problem not actually a um, decent, uh, decentralization or uh, devolution of power is what people seek but people seek a solution for the Tamil issue and a, a self full for the Tamils in the North and East so these things have come out clearly in this so it has given a stronger message to the government and the international community what are the real expectations of the people whether they are going to listen it or not we don't know but then we have to tell the truth and people have told them the truth what is their true expectation so if the international community and the Sri Lankan government is really interested in uh, bringing about uh, reconciled Sri Lanka uh, uh, Sri Lanka uh, that will be peaceful certainly they have to listen to this voice of the people if they listen to this voices of the people and their request that was expressed in this rally then uh, uh, we think that there will be a peaceful reconciled Sri Lanka possible so Tamils having a self rule a kind of state formation in which Tamils can live uh, their rights their collective rights rights as a people as a nation um, then only uh, this country also will be peaceful. So for a good future of Sri Lanka, this opinion of the people that is expressed for all the Tamil should be accepted by the international community and also by the government. Sri Singhali South and East has clearly given messages to every corner, uh, to the government, to the Tamil parliamentarians, to the international community and also to the uh, Tamils in diaspora as well as the people and the state of Tamil Nadu uh, because uh, they were 
sometimes the diaspora Tamils or uh, the Tamil Nadu Tamils, they were not uh, well aware about what is the real feelings of the people. There were some Tamil leaders telling these people that their intervention is not wanted in the in uh, issues because uh, here in Sri Lanka, the Tamil leaders are trying to uh, form a new constitution and solve the issues with the government itself. So there is a peaceful group process going on and therefore uh, it's better that the diaspora and the Tamil Nadu keep silent so that they will work out their own solution here within Sri Lanka. And uh, even the our chief minister, uh, Mr. Vikneswaran, Mr. Vikneswaran, has said that openly at the beginnings of his uh, chief minister post and he has requested Tamil Nadu people uh, not to very much intervene into our issues. It's like intervening into the family issue of another, you know, which was condemned by many. But now he has grown up in the stand and he has publicly asking the support of the Tamil diaspora as well as the Tamil Nadu people because now he has felt uh, when he came to office, he said that he came with an idea that he can negotiate with the Sri Lankan government and easily solve this problem. But now he himself feels that that is not going to work. That's why he has led this uh, mass rally and he has, from the stage, he has openly said uh, that uh, he wants to say this with the mobilized masses because whatever he spoke in private was not taken up. So, uh, just because of this, it is very clear that uh, uh, this Alaga Tamil has told the uh, Tamils in diaspora as well as Tamil Nadu Tamils and the state of Ta Tamil Nadu that uh, the people in the northernest want to have northernest united and they want to have a federal system, a self-rule and then they want to live as a people and they don't want their cultural or national identity to be erased in any way so they are totally against a structural genocide and they want to live as a people and therefore this message has been conveyed to them to Alaga Tamil now it is their part on their part they have to come out uh, supporting this view so the, uh, the, the the declaration of Alaga Tamil is now at the hands of the international Tamils the Tamils in diaspora and Tamil Nadu people they also should take this up uh, this, this particular declaration and basing on this declaration that has come from the homeland they should express themselves openly publicly through statements through rallies even they can have their own Alukha Tamil and in every places the same declaration should come out from every corner and we should express that the Tamils in the homeland uh, Tamils in diaspora Tamils in India everybody feels the same that the collective rights of the people of the Tamils as a nation should be accepted by the Sri Lankan government and also by the international community so that Sri Lanka will become a peaceful country. Uh, there are people, uh, there are political leaders, uh, Tamil political leaders who say that the international investigation is over and what is going to take, it should take place is a kind of hybrid one that uh, gets the help of the international community and locally organized. So they, they have an idea that the international investigation over with the OASL. But um, uh, we as civil activists and there are many people among the in the North and East who don't, who don't accept this particular uh, theory that if the international investigation is over. Because what we feel is that what is reported in the OASL is only a preliminary report and it's an observation from outside the country. So they have gathered some information and passed a report and on that, uh, basing on that report, UN Human Rights Council has uh, called for an uh, investigation. So the investigation is called by the uh, UN uh, Human Rights Council and it is yet to be made. So it, uh, a claim that international investigation is over is wrong, that is our stand. So coming to the um, uh, hybrid model proposed by the um, international uh, by the UN Human Rights Council um, we are not uh, actually completely in agreement with that as uh, Tamils from the beginning we are insisting on 
international investigation only. That is, uh, we feel that uh, the government is part of the uh, crime. So, uh, 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 people, uh, the judges from the part of the crime cannot really investigate. It, it would like the perpetrators themselves uh, were inquiring to the perpetrators, which will uh, not bring out truth. So, we, were, we are insisting from the beginning that the whole in, uh, investigation process should be internationalized. Uh, but uh, uh, when uh, the UN proposed, Human Rights Council proposed this hybrid model, of course uh, there was not much, uh, uh, much uh, protest from our side because uh, we thought at least it would do something. Uh, it is better than a local investigation mechanism because in this it has said that uh, there should be international judges and prosecutors. So we thought at least a good part of it will be uh, from the international community and there will be international people, well recognized international personalities will be involved into this uh, hybrid model and therefore uh, that might bring out the truth uh, better than, it is better than the local one. So because of that we were silently at least, at least welcoming and we don't want to become extremists who reject everything and we don't want to become extremists who even accuse us or protest UN. Uh, then we will not be able to achieve much. So, uh, though hard to hard we were we were welcoming or expecting a full fledged international investigation, we were prepared to see what a hybrid model can do, and we were waiting. But now the government has clearly stated that it is not going to uh, appoint a, uh, not even a hybrid model uh, court, but it is saying that the whole court will be the criminal uh, prosecution will be locally organized which is totally wrong it is against the UN Human Rights Council decision as well which uh, Sri Lanka co-sponsored and therefore it is going against now the, uh, the very uh, pledge they made to the international community and therefore we demand that UN Human Rights Council and other um, international bodies should take this up seriously and come upon Sri Lankan government forcefully and insist that the investigation should be with the participation of the international community as well as uh, Tamil side. So the judges and the prosecutors that are appointed for these investigations uh, should uh, be able, credible people, should be credible people for the Tamils here because the, uh, the affected people should feel that uh, truth and justice will come out of this investigation. Therefore, credible people are needed, so them to be credible. There should be participation from the local side, that is from Tamil side, and the judges proposed by whether Northern Provincial Council, or uh, they also should be incorporated into this from the Tamil side, and also the government can uh, propose their own judges, and also in the international community should propose their own judges, so that there will be uh, a credible mechanism evolved. So that is our expectation and the UN should see to it. If it is going to be a hybrid one, uh, this has to be the model and they should not, they should never accept this local mechanism that the government is proposing and they should, in next session, they should insist on Sri Lanka that they should uh, involve the international community as well as the representative of the Tamils into this into the whole process of investigation. So that is our stand. Uh, with the representative of the UN uh, Human Rights Council, uh, we uh, raised this up very clearly. And uh, in our personal uh, discussions with them, the in, in uh, every chance we get to discuss with them, we tell them that they are failing in their part because they have already said openly, the Secretary General himself said openly, and it's the results of the report, uh, and they have said they have failed in Sri Lanka. So uh, we have asked them directly, if you are, you are saying that you have found out that you have failed in Sri Lanka and you, are, uh, you have learned a lot of lessons from Sri Lanka, then we ask them, so if you have failed, then what is the reparation you are going to make? So you have to, as UN, you have a responsibility because you have failed and because of, of your failure, so many people died in the last phase of the war. 
and therefore you have a moral responsibility to uh, respond to these uh, deaths and so you have to uh, you have to do justice for the Tamil people so we have been repeatedly telling this to them of course uh, we have as Tamil, Tamil Civil Society Forum we have written to them as well uh, but uh, as you as it is said that uh, it, uh, the opposition or the strong uh, words that are that uh, that we express towards UN is not very public because uh, also uh, in, among the people there is a feeling that the international community only could be our saviors and therefore we should go along with the UN with the international community and try to get what we can so in such a situation uh, coming out openly uh, openly criticizing completely the UN mechanisms will uh, again make our people hopeless and they will be discouraged. So uh, we have not made it a public propaganda but we have been doing that directly telling them that they have a responsibility to safeguard the Tamil in a, Tamils in a special way and do justice to the Tamils because they themselves have accepted they have failed. So if they have failed and because of their failure so many deaths took place, certainly they have the right to repair it. So as a reparation, they have to see that justice is done to the crimes committed in Sri Lanka. Uh, that uh, Sri Lankan forces that has carried out or that is carrying out a genocide uh, is accepted and recognized by the International Forum uh, through their services. Even the top military leaders who have been in charge for the uh, death of so many people in the field in the last phase of the war at the Mullivaikal are given a big post in the International Forum and they are respected by the International Community which is, uh, which is wrong because these people uh, cannot, uh, cannot uh, be part of a, a decent international military forums. But uh, people should uh, raise their opinions and even uh, uh, many civil societies, societies or bodies have written to different countries uh, for accepting such military leaders as their uh, envoys or, uh, or ambassadors of Sri Lanka. And we have in the past uh, condemned such acts. But of course, uh, still we have to speak more about it. Uh, and for that, uh, the investigations are very important. When this uh, uh, true international investigation on the war crimes and also crimes against humanity and also especially on geno genocide comes out, then these people will be identified as perpetrators. In such a situation, the military will not be able to participate or the leaders will not be able to participate in such international military forums and they, uh, there will be a time uh, when uh, these uh, people will be identified and th these people will be ostracized. This is our expectation and we feel that uh, that day will come soon.